Hey everybody, welcome back to Appify Your Business. So I'm sure a lot of folks have run into this problem before. So how do you create a user experience where you can have items that are either sortable or grouped by month, like I'm showing here. So you can see here I have um, a bunch of, of items that are grouped by the month in calendar order, January, February, March, and they're all ordered. Whereas if you just have the month name in there, you'll normally group, you'll normally sort by alphabetical, which is not ideal. So it'll start with April and then show August, and then December. This isn't very helpful at all for the users. So how do you create this column here called month name order, which allows you to sort by the month in calendar order without having to do this setup here where you have a number in front of you know the month. This is a little cleaner option for users in the application. So this video is going to go into how not only how do we actually get the month number, then how do we convert that month number into a form that can be sorted in the correct order according to the calendar. All right, let's dive in. All right, so I'm going to start with a very simple table here of items and dates. That's really all we need to demo this example. So let's turn this into an app. So to do this grouping and effectively order months or weeks by their month number versus alphabetically, we need to first create the virtual column that's going to store this information. So our first task is to create the month number from the date. So we need to essentially convert the date into a month number so the app knows what month it is. So we're gonna add a virtual column and call it month number. Now I'm gonna create a separate column for each of these steps so we can effectively highlight the steps distinctly in this example. But obviously you could combine all these formulas into a single formula ultimately that, that may be you know, more concise in the long run with your application, depending on how complex it is. So to get the month number from the date field, all we do is need to type month and use the month formula like so. So this will extract and turn all the columns into a month number. So when we save the app, and let's go ahead and, and change the view here to a table view, so we can kind of show the order here and I'm gonna use this tablet view here, but now you could see that this new column that we've added called month number is showing the date and the, the month uh, for the date. So jumping back over to the data section here, so we have month number. Now we need to create a column that will display the month name for each of the columns here, because if we try to group on month as an example here, let's just create a group here to group on month number this isn't very helpful um, number to show the number for the each month here. So we need to create a more effective column that actually gives the month name. And as you, some of you probably have tried this before, we're going to, you know, create this column here called month name, and we're using the switch formula to logically go through the each of the month numbers and assign a month name to each of those numbers. So the first input on the switch function is to pull a value of some kind. So in this case, we're going to pull the month number. And then it's going to be, we're, you know, basically what follows is the pairs um, that follow on um, in the rest of the statement. So in this case, each pair is going to be the month number and then the month name. Uh, and correlate those two together. So we're going to type one and then we're going to call that January. And then we're going to continue throughout um, and populate the value for each month. And I'm going to fast forward here. So you can see that I've continued the pairs all the way up to November. And then for December, I just put December here because the last entry to switch is always going to be a catch all. So you, it's logically it will make sense that if the first 11 items don't have a match, then the last item is going to be December because that'll be 12. 
With this simple switch statement, I now have a column that will display the month number for the application. So now in my, my emulator here, if I look to the right, I can see that I have January, February, April, July, and August, and so forth for the month name. Now what happens when I try to group on that new month name here? So let's change this for away from month number to month name. I'll find out really quickly that I am grouping the month name on alphabet the um, I am grouping the month name alphabetically, which is not helpful. I want to be able to group the month by the order of the month in the calendar. So naturally this leads users to control that order by adding numbers um, in front of the month name. So let's add another virtual column here. I'm going to make a copy month name with number and I'm going to just um, basically put numbers in front of everything. Okay, so with numbers added, I'm going to go ahead and save this new column and you can see in the, the app I now have this additional column here and I can group on this month name here. So now I am grouped on the month and at least my month name is now showing in orders. January, February, March, etc. But I have that number that's in front of it, which is not ideal um, in, I would say, majority of the situations. Unfortunately, there's no built-in way to order things uh, by the calendar order yet uh, in AppSheet. So there is a trick, though, we can use with essentially empty Unicode characters that will allow you to display month without having the, the number in front. And using the fact that AppSheet's going to still alphabetize on empty Unicode characters. I'm going to open up another tab here and I'm just going to type in a character map. This character map here at online-tools.com um, this basically allows you to use, you know, add any special characters uh, for your column names if you ever wanted to. Leverage other characters that aren't on your keyboard. But you can see here that this is the alphabetical order. If we look at this character map, this is the order at which AppSheet will sort by. So you see the numbers and then you see the alpha um, alphabetized items here in the order. So what we can do is we can take these empty characters that do not display any character at all, and we can use these in our switch formula instead. And if we kind of uh, select these blocks, we'll kind of see which of these characters are used um, by our browser as spaces and which ones are not. Um, and we want to focus in on the group that aren't the spaces here because the spaces you can't really copy those so there they wouldn't be registered as characters that would be alphabetized by app sheet so i'm going to focus here on rows three and four and these are the ones that we're going to copy and add to our formula here so i've created a a, a copy of our formula and um called month name ordered we'll which will represent the column that will actually order the months by the calendar order versus alphabetical order. So I'm just going to replace the one, one dot space here and just copy and paste each of these empty characters into my formula here. good news is once you do this one time then you'll be able to just copy this into a text file and have it ready for other applications so it doesn't take any time to implement this in other apps okay so after I went through and added each of those characters in order there I'm gonna go ahead and save the column so now with this new column added month name order let's go to the view settings and make this the column that we group on and then now you'll see that each of the months are now in order of the calendar, now in their calendar order, January, February, March, April, 
make. So now that you've set this up, you can apply this logic to the weekday as well. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Just create a formula where you are pulling the weekday. So instead of month, you can pull a weekday and extract the weekday there, which will return a number one through seven. And then you could build out that switch formula with the same methodology that we use for a month and get that same order as well. So hopefully that helps. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks everybody for watching and have a good one.